girls are capable of doing anything that men are capable of doing and sometimes they are more imaginative than men these are words by the greatest american mathematician katherine johnson today we have a special guest with us talking regarding this matter honorable us consul general from chennai chris hodges cg hodges we are all extremely honored to have you with us namaskaram it's a pleasure to be here yeah namaskaram vanakkam thank you uh cg hodges uh, actually in some cultures there are some misconceptions and stereotypes associated with girls and women that means they go behind swanky things fancy materials and makeups and all and they are not so good in uh, leadership science technology engineering arts and maths actually i think this is an effort uh, this uh, girl up wifi is wifi is an effort to redefine such a misconception could you please brief on that No, I I'd be happy to. And first of all, I'm really happy to be here in Kochi and Kerala again uh as part of this Wi-Fi opening this morning, and it's a chance to showcase these 100 girls from five different countries, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, the Maldives, India, and the United States, and demonstrate that these misconceptions that you mentioned are false, that they are misconceptions. Yeah. And that when we look at the performance of these girls, the grades, the passion, the ambition, the creativity, that this is a huge resource for all of us and this is something that we need to harness and that's why working with girl up uh as part of the united nations working with rajagiri college this is a chance for these 100 amazing girls to uh focus on solving problems creative approaches to innovation critical thinking and to build the relationships that will allow them to go back to their home countries and elevate and improve uh the lives of those around them and to work with all of us to make a better world Yep. Uh, so the girl of Wisa is redefining this concept and you're making some group of futuristic girls who can contribute well to the society to the nation and the whole world and to make each one's uh, life a better one isn't it so how could they contribute to future well i think you see the contribution of girls in every sector of society and you know as the father of a 16 year old girl who started to think about her next steps in life and where she's going to go to college and get a job and all of these other things This is a real opportunity to uh demonstrate what girls can do in business. We sure. see women running Fortune 500 companies, we see them running businesses at every level. We see women as university professors, as deans, we see them as leading startup uh companies that are providing innovations to solve problems and tackle things like climate change. There are so many ways that women contribute to our society and it's more than just the the moral imperative of doing this the fact that men and women are equal and should be equally engaged in working together this is something where if we're really going to solve the problems that face us as a global community we can't do so with one hand tied behind our back we need to take this 51% of the population that we have and work together as a as a team as a global community to solve and and address the challenges we're all facing okay So when we are seeing the data or when we are analyzing the statistics girls in steam stream that is science technology mathematics art engineering the number is very less but they are very skilled they have very good potential so what do you think that what prevents these girls to be back from steam uh, whether it is social conformities or uh, such type of stereotypes so i think for a long time in every country in the world including the united states the message to girls from a very early age was that science is for boys yeah. math is for boys yeah. and that girls should go into uh humanities they should go into uh other disciplines but that math and science and innovation were things that men did and so i think that that messaging starts at a very early age with the mother and the father and that what we all have to do is change that messaging so that girls know from the very beginning of their life that those who love them the most are supporting them in whatever path they choose to take. And I think one way that we do that is by building and developing mentors and role models that those mothers and fathers and those daughters can see and point to and say if she did it so can I. If she changed the world so can I. And I think it's so important that YSI is providing opportunities to build those relationships, those mentorships and those inspirations so that all of us men and women and this is not just about the women this is about the way that men think as well we see those inspirations those role models and and we do better we get better we improve okay 
and I think there is more scope for the cooperation between the United States of America and God's own country, Kerala, uh, in health, in tourism, in education, more cooperation and more connection could be possible. So what could you do for making this US-Kerala connection more futuristic, more fruitful? Well, I have to say, every time that I have the privilege of returning to, you know, attende swandam narde, I, I am, I am uh, conscious all over again of the potential in this relationship, of everything that is happening with the Kerala diaspora, everything that's happening with partners like the Kerala Startup Mission, with everything that's happening with universities like Rajagiri. And so I think, you know, we are at a moment in the broader U.S.-India relationship where the potential and the road ahead is, is endless. And, uh, and that's exciting. It's exciting to be part of that as the U.S. Consul General. And when I come to Kerala and I see all of the innovation, the energy here, um, it redoubles my uh, determination to partner on education, getting more Keralites to the U.S. to study in colleges and universities, but also getting more Americans to come here to Kerala and experience this wonderful, wonderful place. I think the secret of our relationship at the end of the day comes down to the people people from Kerala, people from the U.S., and the relationships that they form together. And it's one of my uh, most enjoyable and I think important tasks as U.S. Consul General to be part of those relationships. Okay. Thank you so much, uh, C.G. Hodges, for providing such a great initiative and such a great opportunity for these 100 girls. So we are expecting more close connections between India and U.S. in the future. Thank Absolutely. you so much. Absolutely. Thank you for spending the time.